Hi, I'm Sarah with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. Welcome to our Sew This Bedroom series. Today, I'm going to show you how to finish out your bedding with this clever yet simple removable bed skirt. That's right, this bed skirt is cleverly designed to stick to your box spring using a strip of hook and loop fastener. For a full list of supplies you'll need to make a fabulous bed skirt like this one, click on the printable link for this video. Okay, before you get started, you'll need to calculate your fabric measurements. More than likely, your bed skirt size will need to be a little different than mine. To make this part easier for you, we've included a fill-in-the-blank form as part of the printable. So here's a quick breakdown of how I got my starting measurements. First, to get the length of fabric, I measured around three sides of the bed to see how long my finished bed skirt needs to be. Mine is 217 inches. For this bed skirt, I will just need one continuous piece of fabric that will wrap around all three sides of the bed. Now, if you have a bed that has posts on the front corners that you'll need to work around, just simply make three separate pieces for the bed skirt. Measure and make a piece to fit each side and the front of your bed. So, starting again with that 217 inch measurement I just got, I need to add a minimum of three inches to allow for the seams and hems, so the total length I need is 220 inches. The fabric I've chosen is 55 inches wide from selvage edge to selvage edge. So to get my finished length of 220 inches, I will need exactly four pieces of fabric. For the height, I just measured from the top of my box spring to the floor and added three inches for my hems. One inch for the top hem and two inches for the bottom hem. This gives me 15 inches. The design on my fabric repeats every 10 inches. So I've actually added an extra 10 inches of height to my measurement, giving me 25 inches. This is so I have a little wiggle room to make sure the design matches up as I piece all four of the sections together. In the end, after all four pieces have been matched up and trimmed, I need fabric that is 15 inches tall. If your fabric doesn't have a repeating pattern, there's no need to add any extra at this point. So to make a bed skirt to fit this bed, Using this fabric, I'll be starting with four pieces that are 25 inches by 55 inches. Once you get your measurements and have your pieces cut, it's a good idea to go ahead and do a quick zigzag stitch along the short edges of each piece to keep your fabric from fraying. We'll deal with the long edges later, so you don't have to stitch them right now. These next few steps are only necessary if you're using a fabric that has a definite repeating pattern like mine does. You could avoid these steps by using a solid or a random all over pattern fabric instead. Now, starting with two of the strips of fabric, you'll need to match up the design where one strip ends and the other starts. Match up the design, then flip one piece over on top of the other so they are print to print. Now, using the chevron pattern to your advantage, insert a pin in the V closest to the edge on your first piece of fabric. Then stick it through the other piece at the exact same point. Once they are lined up, set your pin. Pin your fabric pieces together this way about every fourth chevron or so to help achieve the best matchup. Once you get these first two pieces pinned together, you're ready to sew. You'll want your stitch line to run directly through the center of the chevron Vs we just used to line up our pattern. If you are working with a solid fabric, you can just line up the ends and make a quarter inch seam to connect each section. Now you can see when I lay the pieces open, my design matches up right where I want it. Next, you'll want to straighten and trim the top and bottom edges of your fabric before moving on to putting the next pieces together. This is also the point where we'll want to figure out which area of the fabric we want to use for the bed skirt. Here's how we'll do that. Remember, our finished bed skirt will be 12 inches. So with that in mind, use a ruler to visualize where on the fabric design you want that 12 inches to fall. Once you find the placement you like, add two inches below and one inch above for your hems, bringing your total measurement to 15 inches. Mark this measurement with a disappearing ink pen. Now to trim these, we're going to use the marks we made and our chevron points as our guide to line up our ruler. Trim all along both of the edges. This should leave us with a 15 inch tall strip of fabric. So to add on another one of the strips of fabric, just repeat the process of lining up, sewing together, and trimming to size until all of your pieces of fabric are sewn together and trimmed to 15 inches tall. 
When you get all your pieces sewn together and trimmed, go ahead and press the seams open at each of the sections so they lay nice and flat. Now you can add a zigzag stitch along the top and bottom edges of your bed skirt to keep the fabric from fraying. Next up, you're ready for the hems. I'll be doing a one inch hem along the top edge and a two inch hem along the bottom edge of my bed skirt. I'm going to start with the bottom edge. Fold the fabric up, measure two inches with your seam gauge, press and pin. Then just sew the hem in place. Repeat that, measuring out a one inch hem for the top edge of the bed skirt. Once you have that measured, pressed and pinned, go ahead and sew that hem in place. This should leave you with a finished height of 12 inches, which is exactly what I need for the bed I'm using. To make sure I hem the correct amount on both ends and that my bed skirt matches up exactly with my bed, I'm going to double check the overall length of my sewn fabric against the measurement of the bed. My fabric is measuring 218 inches long and my bed is 217 inches around the edge. This means I have just enough fabric to do a half inch single hem on both ends. So for that, you'll do the same steps as before. Fold up half an inch, press, pin, and sew in place. Now that all your sewing is finished, it's time to move on to the installation. This is actually the super easy part. Pull the plastic backer off the loop strip, then just go along the top edge of your bed skirt, adding fabric adhesive and placing the strip in place. I like to attach binder clips to hold it in place while it dries. The back of the hook and loop strip is sticky, but it may come off over time due to the weight of the fabric. So adding a fabric adhesive will give it some extra stick. And because the adhesive is washable, it will allow you to easily remove everything from your box spring and throw it in the wash. To secure your hook strip to the box springs, just remove the plastic backer, add some hot glue to the box spring, and stick in place. We used hot glue here because it sets quickly, and since this side doesn't need to be washable, hot glue is perfect. Work in small sections until you get all the way around the bed. Once the fabric adhesive on the bed skirt is good and dry, simply start at one end, attach the bed skirt to the bed, and you're all done. How easy was that? What a beautiful piece to add to your already gorgeous designer style bedding. Be sure to check out the other videos in our Sew This Bedroom series for even more bedroom inspiration and how-tos. Well, that's all for today, everyone. I'll see you here again next time at the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio.